Today we are here to discuss what is going on in the Griffin Judicial Circuit mm. and how we can make change here. And we also want to demand a bail for our client, Mr. Andre Noble. Yes. I come to your neighborhood to seek justice, not only for my client, but a whole community yes. affected by those abusing power. Yeah. Mr. Noble is charged with violating the RICO Act along with many others, black men who are business owners, who are leaders, who are husbands, who are fathers. Also, those who are in entertainment have been targeted as well. We come to question the Griffin court system and their possible violations of citizens' rights to have a reasonable bail set while fighting weak allegations, if not, outright lies perpetuated by those appearing to be abusing their power. These individuals who have abused their power needs to be held accountable and stopped. As we've seen or heard, even in this last 24 hours, so many stories of families being ripped apart yeah. by a system that convicts you even before you're convicted by a jury of your peers. They have also illegally and improperly seized over a million dollars of his personal That's assets. Right. Right. We have tried through various avenues multiple times to have justice served for Mr. We have been denied at every single turn. But we will be silent no more. Yeah. Yes. We will fight and we will be yes. heard. I've heard far too many stories, even within the last hour. And I believe that now is the time for change around the whole state of Georgia, not just in Griffin. Yeah. Mr. Noble's case will reiterate that people charged with crimes have a constitutional right to have a reasonable and fair bail set, the right to not be vindictively charged, and the district attorneys and prosecutors obligation to proceed only on cases when they truly believe that there are merit to the charges. As we've seen in Mr. Noble's case, there is absolutely no merit to this indictment and his alleged involvement. Free Andre Noble. Yes. Mr. Patterson has been held since October of last year as well without bond. Mm. Without bond. He is being held for making <clears throat> phone calls, phone calls which otherwise have no unlawful content whatsoever. Phone calls that would be that should and would be protected by First Amendment free speech. But he's being held without bond mm. for making phone calls, mm. for doing no other unlawful act. Mm. Kenneth is a brother. He's a son. He's a business owner. He shouldn't be in jail without without a bond. He's not a convicted felon. My client, Ms. Simmons's client, Ms. Hopgood's client, so many of our clients are being held unlawfully in the Upson County Jail, a county they've never been to in their entire lives. Right, 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 right. If you have a family member that has been affected by a prosecutor not doing their job properly, contact the State Bar of Georgia. We pay bar dues. We have to pass the bar exam. We have to adhere to rules of ethics. And if I have to adhere to those rules, so do the other attorneys on the other side and these judges. I started hood court because we know that that court system isn't for us. I am a certified mediator besides an undefeated attorney of 12 years. So I am able to come into your hoods and help you fix your problems. Okay. Some stuff can be fixed outside of the court system. And as we see with this, some stuff cannot. There are things that you can do to change your community. Make those complaints, contact the state bar, hold these people accountable, make a paper trail on them, just like they have made a paper trail on our clients. What's up, villagers? I'm headed into the jail to see my client, Free Andre Noble, the motherfucking long way. 